Okay. Um, welcome. In this episode, we'll be talking about variable math. And I'm just going to do that, clear all of this in our program that we've been working on, and I'm going to initialize a few variables. Um, let's just do number one. Oh, number one, and I'll set that equal to one, comma, number two, I'll set that equal to two. Number three, I'll set equal to three. And why not just number 10 equal to 10. And this is a way that you can declare, this is a way you can declare variables and initialize them using commas and then renaming a variable and then setting it equal to something. So that's very convenient for us. And now we can do some operations. We could say um, the sum of 1 and 2, or 3, <clears throat> is, and then we'll simply do the expression 1 plus 3. And we'll sum an NL. Hmm. OK, so what this does is, it's going to output the text, the sum of 1 and 3 is colon, um, that's why that doesn't look right, okay. And then it outputs, it outputs the sum of 1 plus 3. Similarly, we could also say, we could also just do number 1, okay, plus number 3. And that will produce the same thing. So, I could also say, um, hmm, the difference of number two and number three is, and then output number two minus number three and L. And then I could do even more, you can do more operations. So the uh, product of number 10 and number 3 is, and then we output, we could just say number 3, doesn't matter what order because multiplication is commutative. Is that the right property? think so. Number 10. And L. And then finally, uh, division. So the the quotient quotient of 10 and 2 is just make our lives simple. Number 10, oops, that's how I would normally do it. Divided by number 2. And I put in I put in a space between the the forward slash. You don't have to. You can just do this. But I like spaces. It it helps make things clear to the programmer. So spaces are recommended. So let's just see how this runs. It's gonna build and then there. So the sum of one and three is Four, yeah, the difference of the number two and number three is negative one. See, we did, we did a smaller number subtract, and we subtracted a larger number, which will give us a negative number. So two minus three is negative one. The product of number ten and number three is thirty. So ten times three is thirty. Good. The quotient of ten and two is five. Ten um, divided by two is five. There are more operations you can do in programming. Uh, for example, what if we wanted to what if we wanted to divide three or how about two by three? Two divided by three is and then we do two divided by three. We could even do number two divided by oops number three. And then 
and L. Now what would that look like? Let's run it. And it's going to say it is zero. I'm going to go to my search bar, and your every Mac can perform mathematical calculations in their search bar. So 2 divided by 3, and it's going to be 0.666 repeat. So what is, what is the compiler doing? What is your computer doing? Well, it's simply truncating the decimal part. Why? Because you're dividing integers. And remember, when you, in programming, in coding, when you perform an operation with integers, you're going to get an integer returned to you. So, which means there's no, because integers are whole numbers, there's going to be no decimal part. It's simply going to cut off the decimal part and give you the whole number part. Now, um, if you wanted to find out the decimal, you would have to say, you would have to change either number 2, the whole variable number 2, to a double. Oops. And I could say number 2, I'll just do it this way, is equal to 2.0. That's probably the best way to declare and initialize a double. And then number 3 is equal to 3.0. So now, if I change these, I'm going to get, I'm, it's good, the operation is going to return a double, which includes a decimal uh, part expected a, oh, there, why did I do that? Okay, and it gives us the correct um, approximation. It is an approximation because it rounded. Technically, it goes on forever, you know. Um, another thing, another operation we can do in programming is the modulus operation. And the modulus is basically a percent sign, like that, and it returns the remainder of a, of a division. So, for example, 10 divided by 3, let's see, 3 goes into 10 3 times evenly, and there's a remainder of 1. So I could say uh, the re oh, I'm capitalize the re remainder of ten divided by three is, and then I would insert ten modulus three and end L, and we will no errors. Okay, build and there, it returned the remainder of ten divided by three, which is one. And this is, there are other things you can do with uh, variable math. This is basic variable math. I showed you sums, differences, products, quotients, um, remainders, modulus, stuff like that. You can do square roots, you can do other things, and all of those come with the uh, math. I believe the math.h, yes, the math.h header file, you can do square roots and absolute values and all that good stuff. Um, but my timeline is pretty much exceeded, so I'm going to leave, leave you guys here and stay tuned for more programming videos.